Gupta TD Mobile is an HTML5 based enterprise mobile application development system. Using TD Mobile, you can create mobile enterprise apps for all mobile operating systems, including iOS, Android, Blackberry, and Windows Phone. TD Mobile apps support all device screen sizes from smartphones to tablets. Mobile enterprise applications are all about data access. Let me show you how quickly you can create a list, a data list page, a data detail page, and an edit page for a database table. I go to the TD Mobile new page wizard. I choose the data page template. I choose a, a data class, which is the link to a company table. I choose the page layout, a list page, detail page, including edit page. Now choose the data connection to the Mongo database, switch on and off any fields you don't want to appear, have to appear on, on the forms, on the uh, pages. And with Go, you create that application. Now let me just quickly remove that initial page. We don't need that and make the company list page the page we want to see. And now with Go, it compiles the app and the application will be executed and you see it's already working. In my testing environment that is using IIS Express, I see a list of companies. I can click on a company and then I see the details of this company and with edit, I can edit this company and save these changes back to the database. And you see all this is working without writing a line of code. Now a team member of mine has given me a page that includes monthly sales chart data using the new um, chart control of TD Mobile. And I have included that page into my app and now I want to make that page accessible and I will drop a button onto the title bar of um, this app here and give that button a caption of um, chart and you see the name of the object shall be PB chart, for example. You can set all things like properties like colors and so on. But the only thing I want to do is if somebody clicks on that button, I want to open this monthly sales data um, page. So I go to the outline on the client side, contents, push button PB chart. And here the high, le high level event actions allow me to quickly code what shall happen when the click event happens. So navigate to a different page, which is monthly sales data. Now this is basically what you do to um, program the front end actions of a button. And now let's just um, try this again. And here is, you see here's the chart button. And if I press the chart button, then I get the monthly sales data from um, the application. Now let's quickly publish this app to my internet information server. On the settings tab, I can tell TD Mobile where to publish. I want to publish on my local host and the app name shall be company. Now going back to the project ribbon, I just press publish and this app is being published to the local IIS server. Now, I'm using my smartphone and can launch the app that I created from my smartphone. Tap on the company icon and now it loads the company application that I just created with TD Mobile on my uh, Android phone here. And you see the same list of companies that you could see um, before. I can tap on the chart button and it will open the sales chart and it will adopt it to the screen size. You can also change phone into landscape mode and it works nicely. So let's see if I can edit something here as well. Edit this company, add something there, Evelyn Closing Corporation or something like that and save it. And you see it works. So this is how quick you can create mobile business applications. So now after we've done this um, using Android, we're going to use this with an Apple iPad mini. And I will tap 
on the company app here and it opens the same application coming from my uh, internet information server web server. I can scroll through my data here and you can see that the at the bottom Evelyn closing corp we added the corp there and I go in in there as well and go edit this and can remove the or add corporation there and save this information changes saved go back and you see it has the new name there and then as well I can also tap on the chart and you see the chart is adopted again to the screen size using this new resolution and displaying it very nicely on this iPad mini here and of course I can switch to uh, portray mode here and this being adopted again to the needs of the screen. Using the maps control and the access to the GPS position of a device, you can easily create a website that shows the position of a delivery truck so your customers can check when um, a delivery will um, can be expected at their home. You can tap on, on these um, map markers. In this case, uh, you can provide this text that will be displayed there. And I just put in the time when that um, GPS position was recorded. Another very useful thing with TD Mobile is that you can create your own themes. In this app here, I've created a more iOS-like theme for this application here using um, a very flat design and bright colors. And I can uh, click through this application, go back and forth, and this app actually if I tap on the products um, button at the bottom here then this changes to use the an Android theme so here you can see that you can use different themes um, depending on your application needs so here's a little logistics app let's say I'm a parcel deliverer and I'm delivering a package to somebody and I have my app open here where I need to scan the ID of the package I tap into the ID field, tap on my barcode scanner keyboard, and now get the barcode into my field. Can place a signature here, and the save that signature will go into the database. Yeah, I have programmed a little app that calls web services to retrieve the weather for a city. There is a combo box which will be filled with um, available cities. The data is coming from a web service and then the list of cities can be tapped on and if somebody taps on the city then the weather details will be retrieved through another web service. Let me run this little app here and choose a country maybe France, tap on get cities and let's choose Toulouse and you see the weather data is coming from the web service into my application. And here is what you do to call a web service from your TD Mobile application. Click on the simple imports node of your application, import a web service, this opens a dialog now you need to provide the web service URL, the Vistal URL, which is this here. I had this in the clipboard, just paste that in. And with next, you just have to provide an output pass. And then click on generate. Now the interface files are being created and included in this application. Now the only thing you need to do is to actually call the web service in your code. And here this web service has two um, functions that it provides. One is to retrieve the cities for a given country. So this, um, function, this uh, operation here passes in the country and returns an array of cities, of city classes. And the first call is the actual call to the web service, lweather.getCities by country. 
This will return the country list from the web service. Now back on my smartphone, I will start the app tapping on my weather web service icon here. And from my smartphone, I have my list of countries here. I can choose a country. Let me choose Mexico in this case. Tap on Get Cities. Now it's going out using a web service, pulling the um, cities for the country Mexico from this public web service. And I can now tap on a uh, city and this will retrieve the weather for the city again using a public web service. And you see it works nice and quickly. Use TD Mobile to create mobile HTML5 enterprise apps that access backend data without coding. Use one system to design, develop, test and deploy your apps. Follow us on Facebook and YouTube to learn more. Thank you.